Hey guys, Mike Hansman with Small Arms Pistol Academy. If you're new to the channel, thanks for jumping in. If you're not new to the channel, as always, thanks for being a, you know, a member and checking out our videos. Greatly appreciate it. So today I've got the Taurus. This is going to be a wheel gun and it's uh, the model uh, 605. I just figured I would do the unboxing right here in front of you guys. It's going to be a little hard because I am just using one hand while trying to hold this camera on a gimbal and get it somewhat steady. Show you what it's going to look like inside here. Um, so yeah, you get a discount thing here. They're going to give you the lifetime warranty stuff. So you can actually fill that out all the warnings, just things to take into consideration. Um, and I don't want to spend a lot of time looking at that I'd rather look at the firearm, the owner's manual. Now I can't stress this part enough guys. When you buy a firearm, you should be responsible. Open up the owner's manual, especially if you're new to firearms. But even if you're not take the time just to read about all of this and understand your firearm to the fullest. It's not that long. And I promise if you, you just spend a couple extra minutes, you open up that owner's manual, you will learn something about your firearm. So definitely give it a shot and just check that out. Now, the fun part is the firearm itself. So let me pull this out one second here. I'm gonna try to use two hands. All right, so I do have the firearm actually out of that package right there. And uh, what we're going to do first is, you know, it came from the factory and a gun dealer, but we're still going to just verify that this is actually unloaded. So right here, you have your cylinder release latch. What you do for this one is press it towards the actual cylinder. And then I can open up my cylinder and you can see that there's nothing actually inside here. So I'm just going to close that back up. But here's the gun. You can see it's very small. Um, it's all black. I didn't need anything fancy. And this one's not even mine right here. Uh, this is actually going to be my cousin's firearm. She wanted something real small and uh, something she could conceal and feel comfortable shooting. And she just really enjoyed the revolvers out of all the other firearms she shot. So we went with something that does have more or less a snub nose. It does not have a long barrel or anything. And one of the reasons why is she's more of a, a smaller frame person, you know, more petite. She wanted something that wasn't going to be too long and harder to conceal because we do live in New York State. So you need to make sure that you can conceal it. So a short barrel. Now, a cool thing about this gun is it can be shot in double action, meaning if you have a good grip on it and you're ready to engage, you could just pull your trigger and you could engage. The other thing you could do though, is actually cock the hammer. Now notice where the trigger is this time, it's all the way to the rear. So instead of having that heavy trigger, it's gonna have a nice light trigger in single action mode. So this could be shot in either that double action or that single action mode, which is really cool. And uh, you don't need to call me out. We did verify it was unloaded. So don't worry, there's no ammo in this room or anything anyway. Um, but yeah, the gun is very basic. And that's one of the things that I love about revolvers. It's not overwhelming to a new shooter. Now there's no safeties on this gun either. And I don't want you to think like, yeah, we're not comparing this to the new Kimber revolver, nothing like that, all right? This firearm here, if it gets scratched, oh well. It's on the cheaper spectrum of cost, which is going to be great, especially for a new shooter. See if this is really what they want or if they would prefer something different. Now, what they did go with, though, is a 357 Magnum. And I, I know you're thinking, new shooter, 357, that's insane. Well, the reason we went with the 357 Magnum is because you can actually shoot a 38 Special cartridge out of this firearm as well which is gonna be cheaper to shoot, number one, but number two, it's gonna have a lot less noise and also a lighter recoil utilizing that 38 special ammo compared to that 357. But ammo is hard to find right now. So if you're in a pinch and you wanna use a 357 because that's all you can find, awesome, you could. If all you can find is 38 special, again, awesome, you could use it, which is gonna be phenomenal. Sorry about the background noise. Uh, someone's pulling in, so my dog's freaking out right now. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. My dogs were freaking out. So, uh, 
yeah, this is just going to be a great everyday carry gun for her, and I think she's going to be thrilled by it. Unfortunately, uh, we're not actually going to show you us shooting this firearm or anything right now. We're going to tear it apart. We're going to go over all the safety stuff so she is confident with the firearm, and then I'm going to take her out to the range so she can shoot it. But I just wanted you guys to see the un uh, the unboxing of this Taurus revolver. Again, it's the model 605, um, and it kind of you know you can get this gun for 350 bucks, maybe even less than that through a lot of shops. So it's just going to be a, a a cheap way to get into the market of firearms and have something that's reliable. Taurus has been around for quite some time, and it's a decent gun. Um, but again, we're, we're not comparing this against, you know, a Ruger SP-101. We're not going to compare it to the, the Kimber wheel guns, nothing like that. This is just a great gun. If you wanted something and if it gets scratched, you're not going to, you know, be too upset about it. So there it is.